Bonjour à tous, ici Sprulex et bienvenue dans ce nouveau Let's Play sur la chaîne. Il s'agit de Gibus A Cthulhu Adventure. Donc, Gibus, c'est le chat. Et donc, c'est un point and click dans lequel on va essayer de retrouver les Necronomicon. Mais on en verra plus pendant la partie. Là, je vais juste lancer d'abord la première cinématique. Celle qu'on voit normalement au démarrage avant d'arriver sur ce menu. Et ensuite, on lancera le jeu. C'est parti. Brothers and sisters, settle, settle. I come to you this day with great news. My starry disciples, our search is nearly complete. For decades, we've toiled and scoured and fished about this wretched continent for that ever elusive tome. The Grimoire Eternus, the book to end all books, the storied and long fable, the Necronomicon. Yes, Sister Halo, that's that's the one. Next time, maybe you let the actual cult leader speak its eternally horrible name. Yeah, thank you. The uh, <clears throat> the Necronomicon. Yes, no doubt some among you have questioned its very existence. Our search has been wide and our labor great, with as yet no return. Well, brothers and sisters, it may be that we have come upon its actual location. Uh, Brother Bright. Gregory. Gregory! We talked about this, man. This night, brothers and sisters, our men... And women? And women are on their way to retrieve that tome as we speak. Is this not what we've been looking for since our establishment is a legitimate death call? Yes! Is it not in our official membership charter? Yes! Is it not we who should be the first and only to lay our hands upon it? Yes! Shall we let the abominable butcher or other lesser cults get their stinking paws on our glorious bounty now that it is so closely within our reach? Yes! No! No! no. And with the Necronomicon finally in our hands, nothing will stop the Haunter from regaining his true form. No end to the work! No end to the work! So, where is it? We have found him, brothers and sisters. The man who will lead us to it. We have found him, and we watch. We watch. Voilà. Donc... Ça, c'était l'introduction, et maintenant, on va passer à la partie. Read all about it, sir. Hurricane Herbert, storm of the century. A storm. Hmm. That's the least of my worries. Change. Everything's changing. Always changing. What's a Joe supposed to do? You take a new case and it's all you can do to be prepared for whatever it throws your way. The only thing you can know is whatever it's tossed at you won't make any kind of sense but up against the last thing. It's the change, you see. I've been hired to locate some kind of ancient book. It's supposed to have inside of it the kind of stuff makes a Joe's guts turn salt and sallow. Real type mystical mumbo jumbo, which I guess explains the weirdo cults popping up all over Darkham. You know something's left to center when the folks hiring you want to keep themselves all secret-like. Cash is cash, though, and I could really use the milk. That something doesn't change. I put some weight on my man in rare and forbiddens. The kind of pressure makes a Joe's stomach jackflip, and he points me at this dark and ancient library. Dark and ancient? Huh. What's not dark and ancient in Darkham? Damn. Most times, the new is just as bad as the old. Sometimes worse. Okay. Alors. Well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the, uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. Euh, très bien. 
Maintenez la barre d'espace pour révéler les zones interactives. Ok. Donc on va aller voir. Darkham, horrible hellhole. Never thought I'd stick around when I came here 23 years ago. She was local, young and unstable, and I was probably too much to handle. Then she left me with an empty bottle of 81 proof and a broken heart. Huh. My gut instinct was telling me I could look at everything a second time, glean extra information that might be useful, or not. Ok, bon bah. Now, I gotta <coughs> investigate the library first. Ok, suite de leur cabin. Not nearly as badly lit as the name would suggest, but more than compensating on the creepy scale. Now, gotta investigate the library first. Encore la suite de Darkham. <laughs> Surprisingly colorful here and there, but I didn't let that fool me. The town had been bubbling with occult activity for a while, and I was about to look deep into it. Okay. Now, no. got to investigate the library first. Vérifie, gargouille couverte de plantes grimpantes. Looks like some kind of gargoyle. Swallowed almost whole by those dead vines. Maybe I could use somebody, but this gargoyle ain't it. Okay, bon bah, colonne. There's tiny graffiti on it. Stay in school. I guess it's an advice column. Hmm. There are pretty big things I'm willing to carry around, but columns ain't one of them. Okay. Euh, alors, euh, bas-relief étrange, médaillon étrange, euh, bon bah, déjà. They really went out of their way to make this place as creepy as possible. It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. It's a dusty old book. Its title is really hard to read. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. Uh, That's where folks get strange, ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages with their bare fingers. It's the popular book section. Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels. You know, Vatican mysteries and all that. Okay. Mm. That desk is literally blocking my access to knowledge. If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. Evening. Good evening, sir. Alors, c'est bien une bibliothèque. So, how is things in the library business? Ah, uh, you know, can't complain. It's a living. Those uh, electronic books hitting you folks hard these days? Nah, not really. People don't tend to read much at all anymore, so it's all the same to us. Hmm. Interesting library you got here. Is it old? Yeah, pretty old. It's old, huh? How old? Like really, really old. You might even say it's, it's ancient. Ancient, huh? How ancient? It was established by one Jeremiah Orne in, uh, let's see, uh, 18... A really, really long time ago. Huh. Thanks for the info. Sure. The name's Katype. Don R. Katype. Here to see about a book. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah. It's called the, uh, Necronomicon. Do you have it? Oh, That book, yeah, uh, let me check. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Uh, why, sure, uh, you've got your, uh, oh, wait, you're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. Okay. 
You, uh, wouldn't happen to be intentionally trying to conceal it from me, would you? I'm just a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You haven't been the first to come and ask about it, and you probably won't be the last. Definitely our most popular in existent book. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove you so wrong. What can you tell me about these cultists? They come in all shapes and sizes, can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything, but you can tell from the way they speak, they're not all there. Hmm. Mm. No such thing <clears throat> as the Necronomicon, you say? Mind if I, uh, snoop around your collections a little while? I don't mind, personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Orne about the rare books department, though. Uh, at the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. Okay. Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? Look, I can tell you come from a different era, but between you and me, that's straight up ageist. Oh, really? And that, uh, different era business ain't? Touché, Mr. Katype. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it pays the bills. Très bien. Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. That's something your type would say, right? My type? Now look here, son. There it is again. Ugh. I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an interesting surname and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased because of that? No, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. Alors, double-cliquer sur l'écran, enlève la flèche pour se téléporter. Alors, euh, qu'est-ce que c'est There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. Hop, euh, journal de Dun. Plusieurs sources indiquent qu'un nécronique se cache à la vue de tous dans la bibliothèque miscatonique. Point est-il sous le nez de tout le monde que ça reste à voir Il hum, faut que j'aille voir au plus vite. Et j'ai rien d'autre comme note. Ok. Très bien. Alors c'est quoi ce It's this thing I found on the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. On va le donner à Buzz. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What, what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. Muhahahaha. <laughs> is it me or is this thing ticking? Mr. Katype! Ah, don't let on a. Gone. <coughs> Donc là on va certainement No Mr. Orange sir, someone set up a bomb in here. I was about to call the police. Nonsense! You call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son! Now that was some firepower right there! Clean up a little, will ya? I uh Okay, sir. Ok, alors qu'est-ce que je, je peux faire Chaussures. It's Mr. Katype's shoe. 
Well, I feel like I should call him Don now that we've been through this together. It's Don's shoe. Bon, bah, on va la prendre, hein. Et donc là, on a un deuxième personnage. Tiens, il brille. Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the? Ah bah, il est là, le Necronomicon, il parie. Knock it off, for sure. But I can't reach that high. Euh, ah oui, je lancer la chaussure, certainement. I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Don sends his regards, ugly. Ah bah oui, il est là. Is is this what Don was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up 200%. Who'd hide it up there and why? You're coming with me, weird book. Très bien. I never thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh boy, what an evening. Think, Buzz, think. Don's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. Okay, safely home. What... What the hell was all that about? Is this really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? What is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? Uh, you're a lot of help. Okay, might as well take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Kashaptuzi Dinger Kampa Per Adonai Methatron. What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, Kitty? God, I wish you could talk back for once. Ah, d'accord. C'est comme ça que le chat va devenir un personnage. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 wait. Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk. I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and reverse this. That that should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right? I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's... There's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? Wait, sorry. I wasn't... Considering your point of view here, do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Alors... Alors, lequel des trois 
Allez, rab mi lo. Rab mi lo yak zi ishtari kampa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? Meow, ma, ma. Darn it! Can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, by the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? <sighs> Haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumbest name possible, if you ask me. But I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna stick around? No, I'm gonna rock the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist or, or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. Okay. It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. Your cat? Uh, just a figure of speech. Hello. Mm. Kitty, this might be a weird thing to ask, but remember when I brought lady friends home? Yeah, those were rare enough occasions that I can remember. Oh, I see where you're going with this. I have no interest in that. All the kissy kissy sounds are just. ugh. I tune them out. <sighs> Good to know. What's a bit harder to tune out are the audio olfactory clues to how your digestive system works. Or <laughs> rather does so poorly. What? Ugh, just don't fart around me anymore, okay? Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Uh, boom. It's the dreaded Necronomicon. D'accord. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire? Mm. That's Ron Dilbert. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, pretty. Let's move on. Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Alors. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... I don't like this new situation at all. <laughs> Please don't drag me into your immaturity. Mm. That's Kitty. My, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know. Not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touché, pussycat. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. Yes, on a, a tablet. My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. No use. It's dead. I don't think I'll bother her about it. Okay. It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. Hey, Kitty, think you can uh, open that oven for me real quick and, and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs, you're gonna have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path <laughs> to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger... Open the damn oven, Kerwin! Yeah, yes, yep. I did it! Hey, and there's Lemma's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Okay, Jinkly. I accept. <laughs> I think I'll take it, you know, for sustenance. <laughs> Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. I'll take it either way. Oh, oh, la la la. <laughs> oui, il a pas l'air très. That's her tiny fridge. Nah, I can open it myself. Hey, 
it's not completely empty. It's a can of Dr. Fisher, produced exclusively with fish materia water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near it. Okay. Uh... She's not into sodas. Gonna grab this. Uh, it's our one and only treasured lighter. Gonna grab this for a while. Bon, pour de la récolte, uh... That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Not on your life, buddy. I got my fill of suspicious sweets. Très bien. Euh, va porter la chambre de Lemon, allez. Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri La. D'accord. I can squeeze under doors. <coughs> Lemon knows that. He made this door particularly unsqueezable under, remember? Oh, yeah, he did do that. Lemons locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course, he has no phone signal or internet. Great. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. Mm, you've got a point. Wait, how about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really into his homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. Uh, he's away on that esoteric retreat thing, though. No way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. Alors, on va devoir trouver comment rentrer. Mm. <coughs> Il n'y a pas grand chose à faire. Ben, J'ai la clé, tout simplement. Bingo. Alors, armoire très décorée. Uh, I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly overdecorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. All right, Kitty, I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I can't really think of a way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Ugh, this patchouli sink is giving me dizzy sir. <laughs> oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. Très bien. Uh, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? Hmm. Encre invisible. Oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Move it yourself, Buzz. D'accord. What do you know? A pair of scissors. Très bien. Alors. It's one of those lick all 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 uh, tiny cute guitars. Très bien. Oh no. My band days are long gone. I don't think she'd be inclined to play that thing. Of all things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. Do I look like a lighter to you? <laughs> there you go. Yay! It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. D'accord. No need, I can read it myself. 
page on the right says invisible ink use lemon juice to write secret messages on paper only you will be able to then read them by bringing the paper close to a source of heat okay Note, voilà. make that a source of mild heat not open flame hmm eh bien, le bâton dans Let's sens, moderately bien. heat this baby yes it worked uh, lemon one too many cheesy detective novels all right kitty now let's see this list here <laughs> Woo! i think i got it Très bien. how's vg for all your supernatural needs sound and there's the address we're practically neighbors it's the best option we've got so far uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh, right. You've mentioned it. Let's go. But we've got to try and rescue him. <sighs> All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? Uh, I guess we have no lead yet. Lead? Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that. Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. I'm sorry, but I could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Dark Compete, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town. Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. OK. Voilà, on a fini le prologue. All right, Kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova! Let's get on with it. Très bien. Euh. Donc, c'est sauvé. On va s'arrêter là pour cet épisode, je vous remercie d'avoir regardé, j'espère que ça vous a plu. N'hésitez pas à me dire ce que vous en avez pensé dans les commentaires, mettez des pouces en l'air, abonnez-vous pour ne pas rater la suite. Et portez-vous bien, bye